Dr. Thomas Manton IV, How to Speak and Pray Against Enemies to Destroy Evil Works that Anyone Would Try to Do Against You or Evil Operations Against You, How to Destroy Those Things in Jesus' Name. All right, here we go. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command that anyone that has spoken anything evil against me in any way, shape, or form, and have tried to do anything or say anything that's evil against me, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. And what they spoke against me, or devised against me, will go back upon them 1,000 times to give the intent and the effect of what they wanted to intend against me or cause an evil, bad effect on me. Those will go back upon them 1,000-fold in Jesus' name according to Isaiah 60, 22 and Deuteronomy 111, the thousand-fold born principle. Now, it works in forward motion for good or reverse motion for bad because of Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 14 for the good, and Deuteronomy 28, verses 15 to 63 for the bad. The blessing was first in the first 14 verses of Deuteronomy 28, and the curse and curses upon evildoers come from Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 63. If that's the last verse, we can look at it again. And now, according to Mark eleven twenty four, the things that I desire when I'm praying, I speak them and then I believe by faith that I receive them. And then the Lord says, you shall have them. So the desire upon the wicked will be done. And as you said, Lord, uh, the desire upon the wicked, I'll see it with my eyes. We'll look up in further uh, verses about that, the desire, our desire upon the wicked. Now, Job 22, 28 said, Decree a thing, and it will be established unto you. In other words, speak it, and you'll have it. It's a principle. It's a command and a principle. And Isaiah 45, 11, the Lord said, Concerning... The works of my hands, you command me, and I'll do it. See if I won't do it. Now, First John 5, 14 and 15 says, When we ask things according to his will, which the word is his will, and these scriptures are his will, the paramount scripture for this whole scenario to say that it is God's will is Isaiah 54, 17. And before that, he said, well, they'll try to gather together against you, but they didn't do it by my desire or my will. Then he said in Isaiah 54, 17, you will see that no weapon formed against you will be able to succeed in any way against you. It won't succeed. It won't prosper. It won't come into fruition. It won't work. It won't manifest. Because, the next part of the verse, you condemn their words, and this is your heritage in me as my servant, says the Lord. So now we know there that we can invoke First John five fourteen and 15, that we pray according to his will, and then we'll have the petitions and the, and the desires of things that we ask him for because it's according to his will. Isaiah 54, 17 is his will. Psalm 37 says, The righteous shall flourish, the wicked shall be cut off. Psalm 34 and 37, two great psalms. And God told David, don't fret yourself because of evildoers, because they'll soon be cut down. 
This is also the will of God, that the wicked, the wicked will not prosper and not succeed in what they want to do. Thus, um, <laughs> they can't get away with what they want to do. They can't succeed. They can't get it done. And we flip it back on them by our words a thousand times. Anything that anyone, any devil or any human on the earth has spoken against us, against me, against you, against all of God's good people and his chosen elect. It goes back upon the one who spoke it, the evildoer, the one with evil intent, whether it be demonic, satanic, or human, bitter, nasty humans, jealous, hurtful, hateful, evil people. Even in the church, even, even some preachers that have things to say, even people, even people that say they're Christians, all kinds of people. It doesn't matter what walk of life they come from. Or they will not succeed in, in seeing anything done against me or against you. Say a big amen to that. So, Jesus also said, and we could look up the scripture. I think it was Luke 17, somewhere like that said, it's better for a person who wanted to cause an offense to one of my little ones that a millstone be hung around their neck with a rope and they be thrown into the sea to drown for offending one of my little ones. And the scripture says, God makes us also tough that they that love my law are not easily offended. So we don't take personal offense because we're above that. But the issue here and the heart of the matter of this message and this prayer and this teaching in these declarations are that no one can hurt us or harm us. We don't deserve it. We don't take it. We don't accept it. We don't receive it. They can't limit us. They can't stop us. No devil can stop us. No weapon formed against us can ever succeed. Always remember that. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High, Psalm 91, verses 1 to 16. We can print that out here and look at y'all can look at that and read that. And we are completely victorious in Jesus name. This is another uh, annal of the volumes of the series on fierce prayers that produce victory. And this one to speak against and stop every evil intent or action attempted to be put against us. In Jesus' mighty name, they are completely null and void. And those that devise them by their evil intent and intentions will suffer the consequences because we send it back on them 1,000 times that they can never, ever, ever even think about trying to do it again. In Jesus' name, evil is destroyed and the righteous shall flourish in the land and possess the land and succeed and prosper in everything we do every single day of our lives. In Jesus' name, say, say a big amen. I'm Thomas Manton IV. It's a privilege to bring you these revelations from the throne of God and the word of God to give us victory, victory, victory. In Jesus' name, be blessed, my friend, and I'll talk to you on the next one.